Hi guys, welcome back to Dust Not Included. Today, we have something different. We're going to the Citroën Art Festival. Let's go have some fun today. Today, we're in Citroën, Rhode Island at the Citroën Art Festival. It's so much fun every year. There's artists and handmade crafts, like these necklaces, as well as Later in the video, you'll see some antiques and all sorts of fun things. I just love going every year. One of the first stops was a gentleman who had set up some um, antiques out on a table for sale. And I loved this Northwood bowl. I definitely picked it up. It is a rose bowl and it was just beautiful. He had some amazing things and I went through and searched for what I liked. I only ended up picking up the Rose Bowl from him. I found this stained glass um, artist and I loved these Halloween ones. So fun. As well as look at this spider web. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Well, the glass was really catching my eye. Hand-blown glass is just beautiful. These mushrooms are so fun. And they had all of these birds. And these great pumpkins. I found out they have a glass-blowing class, and I think I want to go to it. I love this little cat. They are called Glass Gather, and they have a site in Providence. My next stop along this trip is this shop called Bewitched. They're so neat. It's so fun. It's like a small apothecary shop. They have such interesting things, herbs, spices, um, little magic kits. Just a fun little place to go snooping around. I really liked how they hung all the glass ornaments from the porch. That's a really interesting um, way to display them. I never thought of that. Hey guys, at the end of the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the channel. Now that I've looked at some of the handmade crafts, my next favorite stop is always to get myself a little special treat. Pottersville Fire Department makes these apple dumplings, and I have to get one every year. Look how good this looks. Now that I've had my sugar fix, it's off to the antique market. Historically, I haven't had much luck here because they tend to be um, full retail value, but let's just check anyway. Oh, look at this Santa blow mold. Oh, and I see a snowman back there, a little cranberry Fenton on the table. This cast iron dog is really interesting. Typically these boots bring their best items every year. Like this blow mold, he was $250. He's awesome, a green alien with a pink ray gun. I had never seen one before. Hey guys, don't forget to leave a comment below. I really love seeing them and it's great. I love you guys shopping along with me. So let me know what you think. This vendor had some great Pyrex like the Spring Daisy and the Woodland pattern. And look at those brooch trees. I definitely noticed these two Inkale boxes. They were asking $42 each. I love my angels and also they always catch my eye all of the glass pictures just I love them the colors so vibrant and fun
Over on this table, I saw this Westmoreland piece. I love the hand-painted Westmoreland as well. I'm really attracted to these bird flower frogs. Over here I spotted these um, mid-century curtain tiebacks. I actually have a couple of these coming in an upcoming live sale. I think they're so fun and just, you know, things you don't even think about. But why not decorate with vintage to hold back your curtains or utilize them in a different fun way? There was just so much to see. I just love going to places like this. This carnival vase is just beautiful too. I found a little section of Christmas over here. So I decided to check it out, but I didn't find anything. This TV lamp is a stunning example too. Just gorgeous. They had some really unique and different items here. Like this blow mold set. A Thanksgiving turkey with two pilgrims. I've never seen that one either. This whole set was priced at $300. This was my favorite vendor this year. Check out this angel. I love the porcelain headed angels. This vendor had a lot of great items, like all of these ornaments. They were $10 each. I also noticed these bags of vintage Christmas mercury balls. So I definitely went through them. They were all priced differently. Um, like this bag here was $15, but check out all of the great pieces in here great for crafting and decorating. So I definitely went through them and um, tried to pick out some nice items. They also had these mercury glass uh, garland balls. They were not strung up anymore, but still fun to craft with. They ranged anywhere from $5 to $15, depending on the condition in the bag. This vendor also had this giant tub of salt and pepper shakers for $5 a set. So I went through all of these little Ziplocs to look for anything fun or interesting. They had so many multiples of things like all of these teacups, but then I noticed all of these weeds. I had to put the camera down to go through them and I think I forgot to show you guys what I picked up. This vendor had some stunning pottery on display. It is getting busy around here. Check it out. At the next booth, I spotted this really interesting salt and pepper shaker. It is Little Bo Peep and her lamb. How cute is this? There was some beautiful glass at this booth as well. And on the other end, all of this great Christmas. I'm so excited. I love finding vintage Christmas and there was just plenty of it here. I love the way they displayed these ornaments on this metal tree, just gorgeous. After the antique market, I checked out some of the fine art and boy was it beautiful. There were some great artists with some really interesting work. Check me out every Thursday. I have a live sale and I rotate channels with Janine's. Till next time, have a great day, guys.